Uh, welcome back to Paris Ochanath. Uh, in this video, we are discussing about the rice crop disease detection and uh, focus crop disease detection with computer vision and uh, how we can do it and uh, how much we class target in this video. And uh, this is the image classification site. And but uh, we, we create model AI model with the Yolo V twelve f and uh, it's uh, working very well. And uh, we will implement the data set which get from the open source platform roboflow and uh, involving uh, the yolo v 12 technique okay let's start from sketch how can we do it and uh, first of all uh, without wasting time i will share with you my demo and uh, then you can see the result and after uh, result you will see uh, how we create uh, this part of uh, means uh, simple how we create the model and how we get the data set and how we will implement the interface logic so this is the you can see my screen and uh, here i am just uh, hit the url in my browser and choose uh, here obviously crop disease detection and uh, i have some images you can see uh, so upload and predict and uh, you will see the simple interface working very well and detection part will be happen uh, it's brown it's split one but uh, it's not detecting very well but i will test it again uh, second image okay you can see detection part is doing very well rice blast so rice blast uh, means uh, it's very not good okay so how much percent accurate 0.60 percent accurate our model working so let's going on from sketch how we can do it first of all you go to the pi research github site okay after you can see uh, go to the report site after report you will go to the notebooks open the notebooks uh, keep in mind this is the technical section means uh, this we will build the use case uh, and uh, here open source platform okay we will hit this one uh, yolo v12f object detection model okay after you can see we go to the roboflow side uh, we get the data set from here but uh, in front of you uh, you can see and just hit the uh, google colab file and uh, it will be reload so you can see uh, here google colab file it's uh, already set but uh, you can make sure you can change his runtime change runtime t4 gpu card okay after you can see we uh, set the path and uh, install the yolo v12f dependency first of all not need this one and uh, not need this one we need data set right now okay how we get from the data set from open source uh, this link you can see this link crop disease uh, detection and uh, in crop side the rice crop disease detected and 11 class be light brown spot felt some healthy leave some rice blast okay uh, how we can uh, implement then this data set into our uh, model side and uh, what uh, we do this logic in our system because it's help for the forming technique and uh, if uh, anyone use this model means forming side you will see very well uh, how much uh, be light healthy unhealthy and sports is available in our field okay this data set uh, get from here okay and uh, obviously we need the yolo v lift and uh, you can see I uh, already set the format and uh, copy and paste here okay after dependency you can see flasher will be installed as soon as possible after install dependency we get the data set from here okay uh, it's small step and uh, very well to recognize this one it's open source okay keep you in your mind so download data set from robust flow is successfully almost uh, uh, done okay now you can see the data set path and uh, 
this one and uh, let me show you data.xml file and classes names okay add classes now we need to train model i think we need the right now for video is equals five is so fine for us but uh, you will at least uh 100 10 or 50 150 epos will be doing in video side uh, we reduce the time and uh, train the models taking time okay so we will epos will be reduced but uh, let me explain to you further after training part uh, confusion matrix batches we will explain to you in this video okay uh, a lot of uh, comments uh, how we can do uh, after training how we set the data set uh, uh, it's good or bad okay i am already trained the model under depots but uh, in front of you i am going to five only okay so here yeah, training part is start so we are ne we need to wait it uh, so you can see our model is released successfully and uh, here the detection folder training folder and uh, uh, let me show you now uh, here yeah this okay so running folder detection folder and all files is available and i have already all files but in front of you you can see all files and uh, i will brief you one by one no problem about it and uh, not need this one right now okay so you need uh, let me explain to you confusion matrix and uh, here plot let me uh, see our model fine tune is working well or not and uh, nmp plot average uh, already discuss uh, yellow v toilet model uh, which we create the in detail video uh, yolo v toilet train for the object detection this one is already a detailed video okay so here uh, we will successfully see here brown spall brown spall so it's uh, not uh, good for the rice crop detection means disease alert okay so now here whatsapp uh, oh, sorry here training and best model let me download both models okay after download you can go uh and close cutter now you download after download you can see both models you will put in the same file we create the report all reports you get with codes from here okay uh, we create the report here probe agriculture disease detection will be here this is open source okay so after you can see uh how we can do it uh, further the instruction uh, in laptop side both models available but uh, first of all we uh, define to you confusion matrix here 90 percent is be light spot light and this false summit healthy and uh, this is the confusion matrix which we, you will see it will be great with the axis y axis and uh, here our batches okay here you can see multiple images will be detected very well okay and classes here training and losses it's 100 epos model okay you can see uh, how can 0 0.60 to 0 means 65 percent accurate model in our hand right now uh, here you follow my instructions open your cmd and uh, see the python version 3.12 okay uh, i am already installed uh, like uh, uh, yellow v toilet but in front of you i am going to install like here okay uh, go to the this report google collab file okay and uh, this one mm. you see i am only installed yolo v12 okay so after you can see uh, it's successfully done now open the app.py file 
ओके एंड लेट मी ओपन इट एंड वी नीड फ्लास्क सुपरविजन एंड अल्ट्रालाइस लाइब्रेरी ऑब्वियसली इज ओपन सी वी लाइब्रेरी सो वी नीड टू वेट इट अबाउट द यूलो वी टूल इंस्टॉलेशन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू नॉट टेकिंग मच टाइम बट दाई इज टेकिंग टाइम I'm already uh, installed these depends. Okay, this is installation building dependency uh, doing on. So you can see already installed, but the oh, it's fine for me, no problem. And uh, further libraries need to install pip install, open cv, Python, and uh, supervision. Obviously, py research. And uh, after py research, you will need the Flask. Okay, Altalysis library is already installed. Uh, plus supervision. Oh, sorry, you uh, will be weird. Okay, now we need to open it up our application. Uh, this technique will be used, uh, and uh, we need to change our technique. Uh, obviously, every video, but in front of you, I am obviously change our technique. Okay, uh, this. code will free for you all of guys hmm. here we create the report now here dependency will be install and which one and numpy okay so in front of you we install all dependency flask data analysis supervision open suite here set tip of uh, logging and uh, initialize the flask app okay here our configuration folders here our model which we uh, already put here then define the colors every name mention the different color check it the file is allow it's fine or not three format of uh, files will be upload png jpg jpeg if you want to change and uh, add more you can do it process image okay resize the image obviously and uh, this is count in start and uh, assign the color annotation the direction part initialize the annotation colors with the direction annotation boxes will be added annotation labels name etc will be added like this one okay and uh, here the same if you want uh, its pictures will be saved with the time span uploading folder output a time span and name sorry image and uh, two type of uh, get and post method will be showing us and here disable the flask auto reload okay it's going it's simple python okay right now we need to not need do html uh, it's just a, like a template and here upload app uh, it's this one is uploaded okay and uh, you can see multiple results is available some image is working very well some not it's randomly i'm um, download and test for the test test purpose okay if you want to try uh, obviously video side you you try the video side i have no video right now okay same process not much uh, any changes uh okay this is uh, this will be uh trend processing will be going on but uh, i am open new terminal in front of you and uh, you see the uh, obviously installation part pip install put open cv supervision by research and that uh multiple li libraries and this is the app will be call and the load model successfully and uh, going on here copy and paste here you can see simple interface and choose the file and choose the file and randomly picture upload in front of you okay you see the logs okay this one working very well okay this is color is a uh, king row 2 and uh, if you want to uh, add see the mode it's not detect okay not giving the summary dashboard 
x6 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so you will learn right now from PyResearch platform how we train the model crop disease detection with the rice uh, data set okay obviously rice after uh, involving the data set you will learn it giving the interface with the python code load the model and giving the assign the names you will learn how we set up whole things like environment etc all things so let me sum up this video you will uh, learn from here creating code from open source platform you will see the how we can implement and uh, it's very simple for you guys now you can uh, try it and uh, any type of confusion you will comment down in our youtube section this video is all code in my description side hope you like it if you like this video share with you to your colleagues hope you like it keep subscribers and see you in the next video